Priming the MIN ion flow cell is an important step to prepare the flow cell for sequencing. In this video, you will follow the protocol and get some important tips to do the priming of the flow cell and prepare the library to be loaded into the flow cell after its priming. Priming the flow cell is used for any application, but this protocol is set up to be used with the nano type kit protocol. Let's start. The first step is to take the flow cell off from the fridge and allow it to warm to room temperature for at least five minutes. To connect the flow cell, open the min ion lid and slide the flow cell under the clip, then close the lid. You can perform the flow cell check now on the min no software. To prepare the priming mix, you should thaw the following reagents. Sequencing buffer 2, SB2. Loading beads 2, LB2. Flush tether, FLT. And flush buffer, FB. Please, thaw all the reagents at room temperature. Be aware that you will use only the flush tether and flush buffer for the priming mix. The sequencing buffer 2 and the loading beads 2 will be used to prepare the library mix later on. Vortex the flush buffer and flush tether tubes. To prepare the flow cell priming mix, add 30 microliters of the flush tether FLT to 1.17 milliliters of flush buffer FB. Vortex and spin down briefly. Reserve it. Slide the priming port cover clockwise to open the priming port. Draw back a small volume to remove any bubbles from the system. Set a P1000 pipette to 100 microliters. Insert a pipette tip into the priming port. Turn the wheel until the dial shows 120 to 130 microliters, or until you can see a small volume of yellow colored buffer, entering the pipette tip. Take the reserved priming mix. Load 800 microliters of the prepared priming mix into the flow cell, via the priming port, avoiding introduction of air bubbles. To avoid bubbles, do not dispense all the liquid into the flow cell. Or, use reverse pipetting. Incubate for 5 minutes. During the incubation, prepare the library for loading. This protocol is adjusted for using 12 samples. Attention! Always mix the loading beads too, by pipetting immediately before use. In a 1.5 ml low bind tube, prepare the library for loading, by adding the following reagent volumes. DNA library, 12 microliters, sequencing buffer 2, SB2, 37.5 microliters, loading beads 2, LB2, 25.5 microliters. The total volume is 75 microliters. At this point, you expect the 5 minutes of the priming mix incubation is over. Gently lift the spot on sample port cover, to make the spot on sample port accessible. Load 200 microliters of the priming mix into the flow cell, via the priming port. Pay attention! not the spot on sample port, avoiding the introduction of air bubbles. You should observe the liquid overflowing through the spot on port. Here again, you can use inverse pipetting, but do not forget to leave a small volume in the tip. Mix the prepared library gently by pipetting up and down just prior to loading. Add the 75 microliters of the library to the flow cell, via the spot on sample port, in a dropwise fashion, repeating, drop by drop. Attention! Do not allow the tip to touch the spot on port. Ensure each drop flows into the port before adding the next. Gently replace the spot on sample port cover, making sure the bung enters the spot on port. Close the priming port and close the min ion lid. Your library is ready to be sequenced. Start the run in MinNo software.